Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Borderlands 3. We're, today, we're gonna start off by uh, looking around for Claptrap's new antenna. So, we're gonna gather a few items that look like antenna but aren't, and that's what uh, Claptrap is gonna be uh, able to choose from if he's. Ooh, this looks bad. Which he wants to use to uh, replace his. Ooh, the Varkit Valley. He plays his uh, antenna with. So Varkits, we've seen those in Borderlands 2, so insect-like creatures that can evolve if they are left alone for long enough. Um, before we move into this, I might actually spend my new skill point, which is just going to go into Violent Momentum as well. So there we go, another one. So now we have 12% extra gun damage while at default walking speed. So there we go. Back me up, Pam! Okay. That's a COV echo transponder. Who knows what kind of nefarious broadcasts they might be sending with that thing. Climb up there and destroy it! Ooh, there we go. So we get extra explosions with the new grenade. Oh god. They're really aggressive. They're also level 6, which is interesting. Ooh, blue gun. Blue gun. Um, it's better in everything but damage and accuracy. I don't know what's happening. Oh, the Varkids. The Varkids have evolved. You know you can climb up there, right? I know, Claptrap, give me a second. I'm skeet shooting. Oh, wow, the creatures have evolved quite nicely. They look horrifying. And I think the Rack and the Varkids are actually fighting. So let's just go up. Oh, I'm moving a bit too quickly there. I know you can climb, even though you don't have my powerful robot clamps. You can do it. Um, there we go. What's where's Needler? Wait, what the hell is going on? The antenna. Where's the antenna? There it is. Ow! There's a badass market down there, and there is a weapon chest over here. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. So two, that's a shotgun. That's a, another shotgun. It looks like an SMG though. I'm gonna take it. Now. Let's get the Varkit killing. Let's send out the drone. So that he can uh, fight off the Varkits. Ooh, what the hell is that? Oh, there goes my last grenade. I'm gonna shotgun it to death. There we go. I'm gonna grab all that. Don't know what it is, but... Ooh. Ow. Ooh, I can actually shoot the wings of the Varkids. And then it starts evolving again. No, you won't. No, you won't. It's a normal one. And those are not rack, by the way. Those are actually needlers. Well, needler rack. Coming down. Oh, there's a caustic badass market now. Let's get the drone out and kill off the caustic badass market. There we go. I think he blew up. Something happened at least. Hyper focus power play. It does have a sort of shield as well, but I think mine was just a little bit better. There we go. And that's the last one, I think. So I swapped out the shotgun with the one I found. It's a TDR, which means that I can throw it after reloading. Which means that that's also gonna do something fancy. I'm gonna keep the rubberized, so I because I feel like the rubberized actually drops smaller grenades while it's bouncing which makes it so awesome so after killing off the Varkids we can go through this cave which is apparently an ending of some sort but there's a weird marker here what does this mean it's like a triangle here is that supposed to be oh think i missed this class in school okay so i don't know what to do with that just yet 
gonna open up some loot boxes then. So the shotgun I'm using now is a TDR, which means that if I throw it, according to the item description, it will start shooting on its own. It also f has a f higher fire rate, even though of course it does less damage than the one I had before. So that's not gonna be too handy, but we'll see. Oh, I go, Vault Hunter. So that road will take you right to God the damn it. Broadcast. I feel like the vehicles control even worse than before. They're a bit clumsy, and they don't gain speed as quickly as uh, the other ones. Wait, I'm gonna have to check the map, I think, because this is starting to get... Oh, for fuck's sake, there's one in there. But I need to go back to get them to Claptrap anyways. Let's just move on. So there's supposed to be one over there, which there is probably... Be something down there. See if you can open that floor door somehow. Okay, but I can probably get a grenade down there. But I have a bouncy grenade, which is not ideal, I think. Or maybe I need to go from up there. It kind of confirms my thought that the uh, grenades I'm using actually drop multiple smaller grenades. There we go. Climb, climb, climb. Mantling is great. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted to do, but... Okay, how do I slam down on it? Uh, was that? Okay, so I need to do... it. He kind of does a melee attack when I do that. Let's try that again. There we go. There we go. And then, oh, hi. Ooh, she exploded. That wasn't good. What's this? A wire hanger. I threw my shotgun again by accident. Ow. What's this? Another rubberized. I'm gonna go through my bullets really quickly like this, because I have 11 shots in the clip. So that's gonna be 10 bullets gone if I reload after one shot. Which isn't good, just grabbing all the ammo. So we cleared out that psycho den, which is fine. And I think we're gonna have to go to the broadcast station. The propaganda station right over there, so here we go. Going in. The holy broadcast center. Oh, and there's another side quest over here. Oh, that psycho is sporting a great hat. I want it. Get it for me, recruit. Just go talk to him. He seems reasonable enough. Greetings, chum. Where the hell? Where the find you? Who the hell? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hello. I think he's dead. And there's people shooting me from above, but uh, let's talk to that guy. Let's talk to that guy. Here we go. Hello, completely sane Sid. Ah, look at you, a proper gentleman and everything. What's the catch? Fear not, friend. I am keeping the voices at bay with this mighty cap atop my head. I'm gonna need that mighty cap. Oh, no, no. I couldn't possibly part with it. Not right now. You'll have to destroy the mind control transmission dishes first. They're beaming voices into my brain. You heard the man. Destroy those transmission dishes. I need that hat. Oh, okay. So, those ones? I can feel the mind control releasing its hold. Is, it, is there another one? Just gonna talk to the board here as well. So, there's a bounty on. Undertaker. This unbelievable bastard stole Vaughn's undies. But he was wearing his undies. Hey, Vault Hunter. Some bandit did the unthinkable. He stole a pair of my undies. Those are my trademark Hyperion red bars, damn it. Do you know how hard it is to get your hands on those down here? Just go murder him horribly. Bandit keep destroying the dishes so that I can finally be free of the voices. Okay, so I'm destroying the dishes while Vaughn was talking about his underwear. Okay. Glad I could help, Sid. Can I get your hat? Yes! We're free of those horrible calming voices! I can finally be the skin cupcake! Okay. Oh, yeah. 
There we go, at reception. Okay. Then we have one more. A bit further up. So it's gonna be... Around here somewhere, across some more varkets. Where is it? In that camp, maybe? In that camp, maybe. But how do I get there? We need to get up there. Could I climb up there from here? Oh no, it's inside of the shack. Okay. So probably from the front... Wait, throw the shotgun in. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Ooh. There we go. Grenade in there. Wow. That the shotgun did that. Hmm. Sorry, buddy. You looked awesome though. The unflappable scattergun. So that's basically the same one I'm using right now. Well, the the other one. And then this thing. Ooh, an umbrella. Okay. What's with the noises? What's with the noises? Okay. So there's skags fighting a a new sort of. That thing looks new. That thing looks new. I want to have that. Can I hijack it? I think I can hijack it, right? There we go. Oh, punch in the face. And there he goes. It's already down a bit, but... And there we go. Killed everything. No, that, that one. Chubby. Ooh, chubby. A chubby! He's shiny and everything! There we go, level 6 and all the loot! I need that. This blue stuff. Blue stuff. A clear plastic cherry unlocks these, this echo team for the quick change system when used from inside your inventory. And an augmented shield. With higher recharge rate and recharge delay. Well, lower recharge delay, but let's equip that. That's a blue shield. And then whatever this is, our first sniper rifle. Oh no. Oh, it's a sniper rifle, but with an underbarrel shotgun. That does seven times stand damage. Uh, yes, please. So, right now it's a sniper rifle. That's a doll sniper rifle, so Death comes for us all. it's uh, inverse when zoomed. And then I can underbarrel it into a shotgun. That's another. Ch that's two chubbies in a row. There we go. Holy crap! Iridium and then a blue SMG. Bleeding edge mainstream boardroom. What's that noise? There it is. Um, critical hit damage, weapon shield capacity, melee damage, 85, ooh, 85 shield capacity. Looks cool, but I have, mine is a bit better. So, with all of that, I think we can return back to Claptrap and gather his final one. I'm just gonna grab this. Return, yeah, so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get beetle parts if we return with this thing. Um, just... Trying to get my bearings here. Where am I? I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Need to go back over here. Ow. But first, the final part of Claptrap's quest is checking out Sparks Cave. Well, it's definitely electric. I'm um, gonna have to link that. There's a. There's something in that psycho's head. That's not good. That's a, a spork. We've got some good options, recruit. Return to me and we'll try them out. Is this guy dead or not? Um, by the way, I leveled up again, so might as well spend that uh, skill point. Also into... Oh, no. 
So there we go into Violent Momentum, 16%. It's going to add up to a nice 20 when we're full. And there's a green rain. Launches up and fires three grenades down on it. Okay. Sounds like an awesome... There's a huge amount of mods on these weapons. The amount of modifiers that can be applied to those weapons is immense. And we're just getting started, so that's going to be nice in the future. So, two things to do. Go back to Claptrap and scan this vehicle at the catcher ride. Right? So that's going to be over here. Oh, break. There we go. Scanned in. Then we got new parts. That's that. And if we go back to Claptrap over here, we can finish up his quest as well. Hello, Claptrap. Don't let me fall in. What the hell is that? He's like holding a magic wand. What spread? I can't decide. You've got to choose for me, recruit. But beware, you hold my very aesthetic in your hands. Now, complete me. Okay. Um, can, can we talk to you again then? You too, huh? Everybody wants a piece of old claptrap. Wait, how, how do we do that then? Or can we, can we just change that in, a, in, in one of the machines? Just going to sell a few weapons again. Ooh, there's a fire shotgun in the shop. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy that. And then we're gonna sell a whole bunch of stuff. So still only two shots, so at, uh, slots. So I think we're gonna go for the fire shotgun along with the other SMG, which is gonna be nice. So the only part we unlocked was actually a paint job for the one we already had, so that's not a problem. So let's head back towards the holy broadcast center. Ugh, I hate the Calypso twins so much. They kind of banded to Pandora with promises of death cars and meat storms and blood saunas. Good stuff, right? I mean, even my clan fell for it. Gullible idiots. Now, I've never seen the Calypsos myself, but they must be the most terrifying, bloodthirsty psychopaths Pandora's ever seen. I mean, look, my clan only accepted me as a leader after I killed a guy with just my abs. So imagine what it takes to unite all the clans together. You'd need, like, a 20-pack. 18 bare mins. So there we go. More information about If the Calypso's Fall. mess with my Sun Smashers, then we have got a blood feud on our hands. Which would be awesome! Oh, been a while since I got a good old-fashioned blood feud going. 4 and 0, oh, baby! Okay. Fallen is, is really, really into the bandit stuff. Another bounty over here for Skag Dog Days. You're in the hot dog business now. Paragon of the culinary world. Congrats. Now get to work. Skag Dogs. You don't know what's in them. But you know you want them. At least that used to be true. Now people want real skag meat and fancy toppings. Uh, there's some cacti fruits that will appease the masses. Gives a spicy tang to my dogs and covers the aftertaste. Harvest some of those succulent succulents and you get paid. All right, you're gonna need a special gun to harvest those succulents. I call it the big suck. Because well, I harvest succulents. Whatever, I'm a chef, not a namer of things. I used to be culinary royalty. Then one of my rivals spread a rumor that my skag dogs were full of dead skin and toenails. And yeah, while it's technically true, you, you never reveal a chef's secret recipe under the penalty of death. Anyway, my culinary empire crumbled, and I changed my name. For now. He changed his name. But he's still called Chef Frank, so what was his name originally then? And that was again a, a great start. Do I? Road to Ascension. Okay. Anybody mad at me? Oh, hello, Tink. Well, they're all gonna die. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. There we go. We just roll up in a... Basically a tank. Because this thing has a lot of armor. These guys are level 8 already. That's gonna be... A problem. That's three levels. No, two levels above me. Um, where's the other guy? Uh, that's the big suck. And then the Undertaker is right here. So that's going to be interesting. So is he already? Did he already spawn? And if I stand in front of the gate, right, right here, right here, because I can. Okay. Because uh, remember, he stole Vaughn's underpants. There we go. Let's send the drone out. Yeah. 
the thing sentry. Ooh, there's a sentry drone. And then the Undertaker himself. Ooh, wow. This one might actually kill me. Ooh, there he goes. This shotgun is awesome. How did he go? There he goes. I need a helmet. And there she goes. Where the ah? Woo. Level seven weapons. So that's uh, gonna be a bit over leveled for me. Although I'm pretty close. The accelerator. Oh, those names. Um, annexed Maloko. It's also not bad damage-wise, but probably not going to use those. Since we're already getting blue and purple weapons, I don't see myself using those too much. So that, that actually finishes up the mission automatically so, it, automatically. so it's really cool that you don't need to turn in your missions anymore. A lot of minor changes. The main game is pretty much the same still. There's a lot of minor um, just quality of life changes that just really, really add up. The mobility, the ease of mission structure, the... Yeah, just the everything. I'm just going to go and get that big suck weapon. Yes, that's what it's called. Just because I feel like I'm just a bit under level to go into the broadcast center. So let's just... Oh, yeah, there goes the car. There we go. Um, oh... I think it might be in here. We were nearing a historical marker of Typhon de Leon, the first Vault Hunter. Sadly, he disappeared decades ago while seeking the Iridian homeworld. I am eager to acquire any information Typhon de Leon left behind. Typhon de Leon. That sounds like a very fancy gentleman. So it's in here, but how do I get in there? Because I don't seem to be able to jump in here. Maybe through the cave? Probably through the cave. Oh, hello. Sorry, I, I just ran over some bugs. They're also level 8. Oh, that's interesting. So, cleared out the Varkets. Let's head in with our uh, awesome weaponry. Hello? Hmm. This door seems to be closed. So that's not gonna happen. The suck is supposed to be over there. Let's just check the map. Oh. It's all the way on the other side. Okay, that's going to take a while. So, okay. ooh, crap. Yeah, give me a second. We're going to have to go all the way around to get this thing. It is cool that the map actually shows you elevation as well. That's really cool. And that is Typhoon Log. Okay, so that was what Patricia Tannis was talking about. So, yeah, let's head all the way around, I suppose. So south until I can't go anymore. And then we can go back north. So, there's a doll dam here. Which is brand new where I can actually go past. Jesus Christ, those larvas really are annoying. There we go, let's head through. Don't want to waste too much time. Let's head through. So I'm gonna find the big suck here. That's gonna be interesting. Oh, it's a, a bit more difficult without the the vehicle. Oh, ooh, ow! What the hell did he shoot me with? That came out of his stomach. There we go. And that's definitely a badass, an adult one. There we go, start burning your mother flipper. I love that you can burn off the wings. That's such a nice added detail. So it's supposed to be probably in the building. I'm just gonna go around the bed.
I love how they all slump down if you actually manage to hit them with the shotgun. There we go. That's basically all of them with the drone flying around. Oh, what the hell is that? Ew. And that's armor, so fire isn't going to do much. There we go. Level 7. Down goes the irradiated one. And then we can spend another skill point, which is our final one into violent momentum. Which means we can get to the next skill tree, which is going to be... Uh, skip the tutorial. So. Ooh, action skill augment. Can I already... Equip that. Equi require sentry to be equipped. There we go. Ooh. Converts sentinel weapon damage to cryo. Drone damage min 20, minus 20%. But we do do cryo damage now with the drone. And then we have three new skills. Uh, increased reload speed and kill killing an enemy also increases the reload speed even further. Drone delivery. That's going to be my next skill point. Sentinel will occasionally drop a free grenade based on Zane's current grenade mod while attacking enemies. Awesome. Awesome that is. There we go. Let's open that up. And get the big suck. Which is right over here apparently. Now, go harvest some succulent cacti fruit. Those bad boys taste so goddamn delicious my customers won't care what they're eating. Which is how I prefer it. And don't you dare judge me. If serving people toenail clippings and dead skin is wrong, I don't want to be right. Okay, that doesn't sound even slightly logical, dude. Chef, Chef Frank. So now we need to find cacti. It's going to be interesting, I suppose. Okay, so apparently we need to go over here. Deep excavation. Fear of falling down. Let's see what is here. Because I don't know if... Is that actually a weapon I can equip? I don't see where that's supposed to be, so... Well, about the big suck. Its secondary function is what we call in the biz splash damage. You know, like uh, ground slams and grenades. Anyway, that means it'll knock those succulents right off. Try it. Um... I think I need to equip the weapon anyway. So the Big Suck is an assault rifle and the under barrel has four grenades that deal 64 damage each. So, so let's just swap to that. And it doesn't seem like it changes all that much. Oh, that was basically all my ammo then, or not. Can't swap anymore. There we go. So they're arms. They're basically arms. That's interesting. So probably need to just weaken them with the assault rifle bit. And then use the grenade launcher to blow up the arms. So it's just a just a, an assault rifle with an underbarrel grenade launcher. Fair enough. So let's just weaken both of them even further and now with the grenade launcher we get that there we go one more and there the other one already disappeared so that's that and now we need to pick up cactus fruits is that that it's definitely that but i think i blew up everything else and then the final one is up here there we go Blow the cactus fruit off. Ooh, there's always an alpha. Suck it up for me. Okay, kill the succulent. Oh, that I, I really love those chests. There's always an alpha. Ooh. There's actually an item here. The musings of a maniac. An audio log. He's blowing into the cartridge. There we go. Uh, the sand reddings as night falls. A new clan has arrived in the droughts. Scorch Eye says they have conquered every clan from the parched fathoms to Devil's Razor Ridge. Their leader is a witch. Scorch Eye claims she can devour a man with her mind. Okay. That sounds like fun. 
I think there's actually a vehicle station right over here. So we can use that to redeploy our vehicle um, over here, here. So there we go. Because the succulent skag is apparently, alpha skag is apparently not close by. Oh, though it might be. Where, where is it supposed to be? Because I didn't feel like it was inside of that same... Oh, it was, but it was inside of a cave. I needed to go back a bit. Let's go and check that out, because I'm also out of assault rifle bullets a bit. So might as well just swap it over to the grenade launcher. Then get the fire shotgun ready, and it's probably down here then. So let's use the drone and throw a few grenades around. Oh, there it is. Swap out, swap, swap, swap. There we go. It, it is. It doesn't sound like a normal thing for a chef. Revenge killings. That shotgun is so awesome. The animations on this thing are really, really cool. So now we need to kill mincemeat and truffle munch and butt munch. That sounds like something interesting, I suppose. Those names are really weird, dude. Really, really weird. Why would they be called after food? Even food like that, then. So, another day, another bandit camp. And we can start off with the drone right, immediately, I suppose. Oh, wow. Woo! There those go. And he also dropped the leg. Damn, buddy. He's basically flak. There we go. There his leg goes. And he's dealing with the, the racks. There we go. Okay. Loaded trick repeater. It's a Jacob's assault rifle. It almost looks like a, an elephant gun. 20 damage per shot. And critical hits ricochet. There we go. Bad rack. Wait, wait, there's... It's more lags. There we go. There we go. Let's get the drone again. There we go. I love how the bandits started spawning now and not before. That's a bit weird. And there we go. I'm gonna have to gather up some ammo because I'm starting to lose a lot of it because of all the spawns all of a sudden. So the other meat piece is over here. I think I'm gonna swap out for this sniper rifle. This thing looks cool. What's this? The Nasty Berserker. Unlimited magazine size. So again, a Children of the Vault weapon. Might be able to sell that. This looks who? Our first Hyperion. Oh, what's this? Advocate Shield. It's an amp shield. So while full shots drain 30% shields for 20% weapon damage. And we get extra resistance against radiation damage. Okay, but now we need to drop off the ingredients. I'm just gonna check all the way in the back here because usually there's a weapon chest in it for us. Seems the back of this area just opens up. There's probably no the a weapon chest around here. Unless it might be up here. But I don't think it will. But I think the area is just too small to give yourself another weapon chest. Although we get another uh, maniac audio log over here. Lost emptily without aim, my walls reddened only by the hapless few 
you, but the twin gods have filled me with sanguine fervor, and now I roil in purple to think of the day when we overflow, spilling out until the whole sky is red. Hmm. So that's more background information about the different types of psychos that started to form around the Children of the Vaults. Which, I mean, they still haven't really explained how they actually brought them together. It's just giving them something to fight for doesn't really work, in my opinion. But, yeah, I mean, they're psychos, so I might as well... Okay, wait, how the hell do I get... Is it just that shack over there? I feel like that's supposed to be... The map is really zoomed in for some reason, so we can drop that here. Okay, so there we go. That was another side quest done. Next time on Borderlands 3, we need mouthpiece. <laughs>